Hey guys, this is Bruno for another Baby to Beard where I'm showing you my beard growth process in real time. And today I'm talking about the importance of staying hydrated. It's been 17 days since I shaved to start the Baby to Beard series. The slight itch that I had in my beard in my last video disappeared a couple of days after and my beard is growing along nicely. I still have plenty of hairs that are only now starting to show the tip, but most of my beard grew enough to cover those empty spots. At the end of the day, patience and a good routine can overcome genetics. Now today I'm covering a very important topic that gets forgotten often, and that is hydration. Not on the outside, but rather on the inside. You probably know that 60% of your body is made of water. But what you probably didn't know is that more than 10% of your beard is also made of water. Particularly, water is what makes our cells work. And that includes the cells responsible for beard growth. The problem is that most of us don't drink that much water every day. Definitely not the recommended eight daily glasses of water. Coffee, tea, carbonated drinks, and alcohol doesn't really count. And sure, we get water in our food, but that's more of an extra. Another problem is that we might only remember to drink water when we're thirsty, and at this point, the body is already in dehydration. Water has an impact in everything in our body, like your brain, your skin, and of course, hair and beard growth. If the roots of the hair and beard are deficient in water, it will start getting brittle, dry and rough, and it might break. Also, if your beard hair is thirsty, then the roots of the hair might not be hydrated enough to stimulate new growth and the current growth might slow down. And without good hydration, eating healthy or taking vitamins and supplements won't really help much because you won't have enough water to metabolize the cells and transport those nutrients to the beard hair. So it's pretty clear, if you want to promote a healthier beard growth, you need to keep your body hydrated and that means drinking more water. I know that some people struggle with this, but you really just have to get into the habit. You don't need to drink a liter of water at once, but rather drink it throughout the day. It might be harder or easier depending on your daily routine, but it sure is doable. This is how I personally do it. I drink a full 300 milliliter glass of water with a few lemon drops in it as soon as I wake up. I do most of my work in sections of 40 minutes of time or so, and then take a short break and this is when I have more water. I have as much as I'm feeling like at the time, but it's usually a full glass. The important is that you don't see it as something that you have to do, but rather something that's pleasant and associated with a short break. If you can't take breaks often, then carry a bottle of water with you and drink a little bit here and there. Before you know it, half a little will be gone, so just keep this throughout the day. If you find yourself forgetting about it, then just set alarms throughout the day or get a water tracking app. At the end of the day, just remember, if you don't do it for your body, at least do it for your beard. In the next episode, I will be covering vitamins, which ones you should be taking, and whether beard vitamins really work or they're just a myth. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up so that other Barbudos can also find these tips. Also, if you want to keep following my baby to beard growth process in real time, please subscribe. As always, feel free to ask us any questions in the comments. Until the next time, and may the beard be with you.